Hello, my good people of Nigeria, my good people of Yafra, my good people of Kute Dele Toko. Chai, my mouth just they make me make a talk, 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 talk. That is why it seems like I'm jumping. But I'm not jumping, oh, because the only mad men, I be mad man, I be mad people, they jump world. If they want to talk A, B, we come out from their mouth. That is what makes them a mad man, not like uh, they cannot reason like us. So, my good people, I am not jumping walls, oh, Ruben and Kemu, we jump Oku, because Naraka Pua Bemu, hey, the only other way I have here now, and I just to talk, just to make people happy, and also bring the news to your doorstep, oh, as it ought to be. If you never subscribe, oh, please, I am using this opportunity to beg you, hey, John, to your long, please go as the subscriber. Do an la do do an la do an nebi. I got on to do na so I was a hey. I can speak uh, some different languages, yo. Now this my head itself. Eh? No be today, yo. Eh na. So if this is your first time of hearing my voice and you never click the subscription button, this is your time. Just hit it now. Hit it now. Otherwise, I will stop giving news again. <laughs> So my country people, I am here, I am back here again. If you never uh, if you still wondering who is here, I still remain Ukute Deli Toko. That's your talkative, your broadcaster with a difference. I never change you. My voice still remain the same. And uh, I will still be hammering like uh, never before. You get it? If you don't get it, then forget it. Yes, before we proceed with this news, if I have never gotten your PVC, please. Go and get your PVC. Get ready for 25th of um, February to vote for Labour Party. Either you choose uh, Agbadu, or you can as well choose Kwam uh, Kwaso, or you can as well choose El uh, 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 Hamza Mustafa. Uh, so where is also there. But for PDP, please wait for 25th of October so that you will vote. Because that is the date where the Obaseki have chosen for them. Obaseki is at least is one, one of the mouthpiece of uh, the PDP. And at that same uh, rally, uh, this is our Ebo fainting minister. He can't display that faint, you know, like say the thing is still there to you. Uh, I think, and I still remember the name, uh, Dino Malaye. And I remember the time where they faint, where they probe and for how much we in chop. So you see, carrying in the body now, can't they pro, uh, uh, campaign for somebody? Uh, thinking that we uh, have already forgetting. Anyway, many Nigerians can forget, but me, Okute, I never forgetting. Everything that happened during that period is stuck right inside my brain. So, <laughs> we'll wait for him. Tomorrow, make him come out now saying they run for any office. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go deal with him. He the campaign for Atiku. Look at what is Atimogi saying out there. None of them, even their, their principal, never come out to deny or to defend it. Or even his wife or any of his family come out at least in their that uh, micro blogging uh, website that everybody is using to showcase. Because even our president, our current president now, don't even speak to to, to Nigerians. He can only go to tweet and tweet <laughs> uh, from Femi Adesina or Garabashewu. Yeah, of course, now nah, it's time for campaign. They will come to the campaign ground to meet our eight uh, parents who have nothing, who have not any single uh, uh, idea of internet. Then when they win the election finish, they will begin to tweet messages <laughs> to us. Then what happened to the, uh, the campaign ground? Where are you going to campaign? Chai, Nigeria, who do us? Just like uh, one, uh, one uh, motivational speaker I listened to just con some couple of minutes ago, he said that uh, we take uh, the office of headmasters and give to Moron. That is why they don't know how to uh, construct roads. They don't know how to build, build bridges. They don't know how to... Uh, uh, open a, a pipe bomb water or even give electricity. And if you check that word very well, my dear, not true too. Because uh, all this one, where they just they have hype uh, all these uh, presidential uh, 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 aspirants, uh, presidential candidates, uh, starting from P2B, Atiku. Atiku, they say Atiku have built bridges all over Nigeria. You When you ask them where did he build, which kind of bridge is built, he say he married from four different ethnic groups. <laughs> Laughable. So somebody married from four ethnic groups, being a vice president, that's the only thing he achieved. And people are using it to campaign for him. That is why I am tomorrow, I will still be highly disappointed with Dan Olati for making that comment. I think we have built bridges all over the country. Then coming to our own Abado, they say Abado, ah, Abado don't do everything for Lagos. So. Somebody who rule for complete good eight years without no single, uh, 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 not even a flyover, even if not half one, then half flyover. He didn't build. No pipe bomb water. Hmm. Anyway, sir. In Lagos, anywhere where you are, 
You still pay for water. Some people use borehole. That is what we are passing through in Nigeria. And people are busy saying uh, this one do that, this one do that. My dear, coming 2023, anyone away if you say it is okay, you make a vote. You. At least for me and my family, we don't say okay, but we manage a Labour Party. I think that one can at least account for, even if he cannot do anything for Nigeria, make him go there and begin to save money. Because now Nigeria cannot even save. Instead of us to save, we are using the one we are supposed to save to service debts. Over 77 trillion naira is what the coming administration is going to inherit from uh, uh, 27 trillion that they met on ground. People still have money to the campaign for APC, APC that this one will do it, something different. Who, who told you that? Go ahead, put that in. All for you put that in. When the money or Ramugu, when I bought Ramugu, there's a kind of slap where they give at the back of the head. I'm out here. I'm not going to take it. You know, instead of somebody to, to give you that kind of that kind of oramugu, eh? You better make that person slap you for face. You go day okay than say they slap you oramugu. Mugu slap at the back of your head. One eh, eh, for one week you go see they have a headache. So when you wanna put that in, say, hey, we go support ABC, oh, say this is where they come oh, in the difference. Somebody who, who categorically openly come out and told us that we tell to him that most president Muhammad Bugari can never be president of Nigeria. Uh, oh, 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 singing is like music. That is the way Milo called this his, his own turn. That the body was cry, crying to him and he tell him that he should not worry, he will make him president. Make him president. So that idea that you people are saying that uh, is different, just like when they ask him at the Shatan House, uh, what makes you think that uh, you will do uh, uh, something? He said, because I am different. Give that a, a little of that idea, even if only 20%. At least it will be better the economy of the, the of this very uh, administration. You said no, you hide it. After selling out that to us, now you want to bring a, a sniper so that everybody now will just jump into one lagoon. Rubbish. So, my good people, we are going to take the headlines now. As we are taking the headlines, we all can also look into the news as it ought to be. Remember our tradition. USA, don't place visa ban on Nigerians undermining democracy. So make sure I hear them now. US, USA don't uh, uh, put a visa ban. As if uh, 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 the visa ban have anything to do with us. Naja Atu, Mohammed Revis, not an ass, plotting to replace Tunumbu with Chetima. We know about all this in long ago. So let them just uh, support this, their packaging. A packaging a uh, 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 product to sell to Nigerians. Yeah, it's six years old man. Look at what uh, look at what is happening to Cameroon. Their, their their president went to a program. He don't even know where he is to 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 uh, give a speech. Now He did it. <laughs> African submit. Just that the just the mess made poo 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 poo. <laughs> Africa who do us? Now another country. That is what you are imitating now. When you talk now, they will tell you a uh, president of Cameroon is somewhere how old. Look at the shame that is brought to the people of Cameroon. And the worst are out there laughing at us. And we are there, the mumu ourselves, they go. Atiku plans to assassinate Wiki. Atimugu met fresh allegation. Or the Haram. Scott killed as Nigerian Air Force reportedly bombard civilians near Nasarawa Benue border. Now, instead of uh, to, to the bombard, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Bokos or bandits. Now, now, now civilians are they go the bomb. <laughs> oh, this on a country self, I don't understand though, whether they want to increase the population or they want to decrease the population, I cannot tell. Why I'm exposing articles corruption before election? Ex Ed Michael Achimugu states. I'm gonna make on a here. 2023 PDP don't hit uh, Tunumbu very hard. They say don't bl blunt black me buhari and don't exonerate yourself, PDP to Tunumbu. Exactly what I'm saying. He was the one that sold this uh, 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 semi-inspired drugs to us. Now he is already inspired and he still wants to come to uh, rule the country. We cannot agree. Yeah. We don't go agree. We don't go agree. What are you going to sing? We don't want to numbu. Oh, uh, 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 broom, broom, broom. <laughs> Please, my people, let us continue with our news because we don't have time to waste time is money. Time we go to support democracy and fight corruption in Nigeria. The United States of America, they don't come out to say anyone will not support democracy for Nigeria. They go to place visa ban on that very particular person or group of peoples. As if uh, this one, whether they talk now, they go carry them out. 
No, we now they carry the whole for how many, how many years, how many years now? Close to two years. The U.S. No, they don't say anything. Instead, they call Buhari and congratulate him and give him peace award. As if on a on a this thing, on a visa ban, have anything to do with them? If they don't go U.S., they have U.K. Now they can go U.K. or go to Dubai. What about France? So I beg you, make you hear what the U.S. Secretary of the State, the column, is saying them now and to the Blinken. Don't talk on one day that the individuals subjected to visa ban whose identities uh, identities he concealed will not be qualified for the U.S. visas. More gonna chop on our country now. You know, no one intervene. No one to to say exactly how it is in our country. Make gonna chop on a visa on our country. I beg you. The Sino diplomat, you don't add a say clarification about the possibility that some relatives of individuals denied identity to the U.S. will be subject to a similar restrictions, according to Tony Blinken, the U.S. Secretary General. Blinken asserted that neither the Nigerian population nor its government was intended to be harmed by the visa prohibition, prohibition, I mean prohibition according to what they were right here. He claimed it proved the U.S. government's commitment to helping Nigerians in its initiative to combat corruption and strengthen democracy and the rule of law, according to Tony Blinken. Blinken's statement, he don't talk to say, we are committed to supporting and advancing democracy in Nigeria and around the world today. I am announcing visa restrictions on specific individuals in Nigeria for under, undermining the democracy democratic process in the recent Nigerian election. Who are those people? Please, can you name their names so that we go shame them when they cross our area? You get it? <laughs> I beg you, they can use this uh, tool. No. They give all the news now because people say this one I'm better instead of they speak that big English at the end of the day. Yeah, I know go, <laughs> you don't solve any problem. You got big English now. Uh, people are saying a problem, oh. And now, we don't be the good speaking English. I go do that here, the Yabam. Say, people are saying that English will go chop. <laughs> Under section 212 of section A, section 3C of the Immigration and the Nationality Act, according to the US Blinken, these individuals will be found, uh, found ineligible for visas to the United States under a policy to restrict visas of those believed to be responsible for or complicit in undermining democracy in Nigeria. As if uh, the undermining of democracy started today. And now when I just they wake up, when I wake up too late, certain uh, family members of such persons may also be subjected to these restrictions. Additional persons who undermine the democratic process in Nigeria, including in the lead up to during and following Nigeria's 2023 general selections, may be found ineligible for the U.S. visas under this policy, according to Tony Blinken. The visas restriction, as they announced today, are specific to certain individuals and are not uh, directed at the Nigerian people or the government of Nigeria. The decision is to impose visa restrictions, reflects and commitment of the United States to support Nigerian aspiration to combat corruption and strengthen democracy and the rule of law. Wanna get it? If you don't get it, better forget it. We are moving forward, Nigeria to we be the head of uh, something something for APC. We don't talk say I know they do again no. I know they do. I know they do for APC. In talk say that the presidential candidate of APC say that one no be uh, woman be no. According to her, no be me talk amo. Be gonna don't come to attack me now because APC people and uh, these uh, Abadou supporters on our own self too much for nobody. Now they have to Mohammed. He don't reveal. He say nothing else. They plan not to replace Tunumbu with the Alaji Shetima. I be Masi Shetima. A former member of our Progressive Congress APC Presidential Campaign Council, Ajia Najatu, Abi Najatu, Mohammed, she don't claim say that some Northerners are plotting to make Senator Kashim, Shetima President, if the APC Presidential Candidate, Bolamed Tunumbu, becomes incapacitated. Oh, this eh? This one nearly knocked my uh, brain boss, but I don't go fit. Uh, nah, no, be, no, be, no, be, no, 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 the speaker, you go with the speaker broken anyway. Where if I can come one day, you can't pay. She told this day that some northerners are to Numbu to continue with this presidential election. So it's running mate, he can replace him if his health fails. And I get it. So now they are play. they, are, they don't play hanky panky game with the Nigerians. Eh? So when I go present a, a for front runner, we we'll be say on our on our immediate plan and major plan that we say make the second man take over the first man. 
because I don't know already that the first man is not eligible and not qualified for that office. Eh? It's all right. Naji Atu, who are recently resigned at the APC campaign organization director for the civil society, the clothes that some supporters of Northern Extraction are banking on Tunumbu's eventual incapacitation <coughs> so that Setuma could assume office as constitutionally stipulated. Uh, okay, as constitutionally stip uh, stipulated. Eh, kwa? Mwa na constitution or no constitution? I hello now the constitutional stipulated. Why is it in that the northern house are banking on his ill health? Mohammed said they just want to push him for them to be president. It is not even in his interest. Abi, it's all right. She added, say some people will come from Meduguri, come here today, will be Monday, as in Hadia. Why did you do this? You have now punctured our interest. Our son is going to be president. And you are talking like that. After all, look at Tunumbu. He cannot do it, according to them. We are all for Setima. You have not done well for us. You know, see, I'm, see these people know what they are doing. They don't package the expired drugs, the expired product. They want to say to Nigeria simply because they have ulterior motive. Buhari not in charge. Ex-APC chieftain reviews prime minister that runs presidency in Nigeria. Another one, another bege you don't come out. Speaking for that, Muhammad Buhari, okay, Muhammad claimed that President Muhammad Buhari doesn't care about the economy, security, or who succeed him as president. Here, yeah. Stated that uh, despite briefings from all security agencies, the president doesn't care about the dangers of Bola Tunumbu's presidency, given his alleged health challenges. She alleged that Buhari's uh, grand nephew, Yusuf Tunde Sabiu, is the prime minister of Nigeria who runs the presidency, adding that the president is not in charge. Naji Atu said, in the first place, Buhari does not care about anything he had never cared. He doesn't care about the country, nor is he really in charge. He has thrown the country to the dogs. He has he has a prime minister in the name of his nephew, grandnephew Tunde Have you seen it? How they are killing the country. Whether we want to believe it or not, Tunde is the de facto president. President. I know that even the service chiefs report to him. Tunde is uh, Sabiu. Do you know him? He is called Tunde because he was named after Tunde Idiabon. Oh, Nigeria, which way forward? Who do also, or who do we offend? Because all these revelations, if you check it very well, anything, anytime we hear about a rumor, there's an atom of, atom of truth in it. Anyway, we cannot capitalize on that. At least, he don't try for the eight years where he don't put us into a, into a slavery. But notwithstanding, Omu Chineke will still be wallowing stronger and stronger and stronger. Atiku, you don't plan to assassinate uh, 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 Wikeo, according to Michael Achimogu, on his fresh allegation uh, against the presidential candidate of the PDP. A former aide to the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, whether they call uh, PDP Atiku Abubaka, Michael Achimogu, he don't come out to say the vice president. Uh, Okay, the former vice president, he don't conclude a plan where he want to take a mother the river state governor in yes, some weekend. Hmm. This one a big allegation though. I beg, where are our security personnel? What are they doing? This man has been voicing out, voicing out since. I've never seen any single action being taken so far. What is happening in this country? Where do we go wrong? And how do we, and, I mean, where do we go from here? Nigeria is no more Nigeria. Nigeria is the, that name have already been gone for the past for some years now. Anyway, let's continue. But what is my own? Oh, 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 what do I know? <laughs> Achimugu, Achimugu, yeah, Achimugu. Ah, this one Namugu. We are saying um, Bada. Where they pay? <laughs> I beg you, my mouth. Bam, my mouth. Fium. <laughs> Achimugu during an interview with TVC. On Wednesday, say the plot was brought to his attention by Atiku's daughter in Yola. Hmm. He claimed the former vice president of Nigeria plans to implement the killing if he emerges as the winner of the 2023 presidential election. So these one are the evil plans, even when you are not uh, by, by, by the special grace of uh, Allah, by the special grace of Ahmad Yohan, you are not going anywhere. This is your first and this will be your last of running as a presidential uh, uh, candidate again 
in Nigeria or even in Dubai where you based. The former Edo who claimed his own life oh, and that uh, the, and that of his children are not safe. We know. Vow to reveal more details later. If hmm, they push him to the wall. Okay now. I beg where you there, let me push it to that wall. Oh. Where you go hit your head on the wall. So that your head go do kuru, 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 to bring out other things because we need them. He said Atiku's daughter told me in Yola that his father, if elected, will turn Wiki and his group to shreds. Oh, evil plans everywhere. She said many things, including assassination. I will release the details later, according to Achimugu. The former head alleged that Atiku has so much evil up his slaves and definitely can't be trusted. Many evil things surround Atiku, including terrorism, assassination, among others. I will roll them for Nigeria to see, he added, according to Michael Achimugu. Achimugu further claimed that he has tried to reach out to Wiki and many others for them to provide protection for, for him, but the efforts uh, have not uh, been successful, adding that Atiku is a dangerous man who should not be underrated at any time. Atiku cannot be trusted. I know what I'm doing. It's dangerous, he said, the G5 saga. Niger News the report say some agreed governors within the PDP now popularly refer to how the G5 governors took a stand against supporting the presidential candidate of uh, PDP, Waziri Adamawa. They don't insist though on the resignation of the PDP national chairman, where he named the Iyocha Ayu from office and his, and, uh, his replacement with a South Anna as the only condition to support Articles 2023 BD. Come on, this one, it don't finish now. It should be the next month now. This month I've already ended itself. We are talking about uh, some weeks now. However, despite several meetings and the entreaties on how to resolve the disagreement, Ayo have refused to step down and governors have also not changed their position. No. The G5 governors are near some weekend of River State. Then you can call up, see, you in there. This one now from Oyo. Okay, see, Pazo, the 500 Naira uh, pre, uh, 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 governor of Abia State, then Samalotum, this one come from Benue State, and they find Ugwani Monyeke from Enugu State. That is the name of the G5 governor who don't talk to say, even if you carry them, knock them for granted, poor, they no go support Atiku, unless Yota Ayu don't give way for Sautana to take over as the PDP national chairman. Scores killed as Nigerian efforts on the bombard the civilians near Natarawa and Benue border. What are their offenses? I don't know. Or maybe their crime is that they are Nigerians or they come from Natarawa and Benue State. Scores of innocent civilians have been allegedly killed during an uh, Iranian air bombardment conducted by Nigeria Air Force. According to the People's Gazette, the tragic incident happened near the Natarawa Benue on Tuesday night. Eyewitnesses revealed that the airstrike was carried out in Rukubi, near the southern border with Benue in Doma local government area. It was gathered that the at least for seven people, mainly Fulani Hess men, were confirmed killed, while scores were evacuated to various hospitals in Nasarawa and in Benue. According to the news, though, the incident was reportedly confirmed by the governor of Dry Sule of Nasarawa State, who, said, who stated that the efforts are already underway to resolve the crisis which is the military. What are the crises? We don't know, but we are about to know. A spokesman for the Nigerian military told Gazette that the airstrike carried out in the area was targeted at the bandits and terrorists. But do you target anyone? You do not target anyone. You will should use full soldiers instead of using airstrike. Because these people know people, uh, that the attack will surely come from air. So they go to, uh, I mean, entice themselves with the innocent civilians. When you bombard, you will even uh, 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 leave the people who you're supposed to kill and be targeting innocent citizens who have not done anything. The only crime is that uh, they are Nigerians. However, fair to say how many bandits were neutralized during the attack or if there were any other casualties other than the civilians. You see any, 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 say any uh, bandit killed here, 47 civilians have been killed and many more will still be confirmed dead. A confrontation though, between the Benin authorities and the Fulani community between the two states had reportedly ignited following the Iranian airstrike, according to them. Witnesses claim that the bombardment happened shortly after a group of Fulani headsmen 
went to Benue to reco recover their seized livestock. After paying about 27 million naira in fines to recover, recover their cattle, they began a journey back to their base in Nazara before the bombers were dropped on them. Bombs were dropped on them. This one is a headsman. Who, this one did not say killer headsman. And they did not say uh, a ter terrorist. So people who went to recover their livestock are now the one that uh, the bomb, the, the list bomber are killing. What happened to the terrorists in uh, Sambisa Forest and other Ampara, North East, North West, and the North Central? In fact, this country is safe. Everything is about left, 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 left. Eh? We are not driving left hand. We are driving right hand. I'm supposed to be right thinking. I've been left with the drive safe. Okay, now left with the drive. That's why you're thinking left. You can drive right. And other countries where they drive right, they are thinking right, right. Yo, Yemkwe. Why, 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 Anyway, share my dear people. Make on a yao. Why am I exposing articles corruption before election? SL Michael Achimugu. Achimugu. This is your name, self, eh? It sounds so hard for my ear, but eh, what can I do? What do I know? <laughs> Michael Achimugu, the former heir to the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate, Atiku Waziri Adamawa. He don't come out to say why in the expose uh, the corruption against his former boss to prevent Nigerians from making a direct mistake. May they no vote PDP or Atiku Abubakar for 2023 general election. He wore the Kong Kong Nigerian News can record that Michael has been releasing several recorded phone conversations where Atiku admitted to being involved in taking advantage of federal contra contracting expenditures. The former vice president also narrated the, how he took charge of setting up onshore shell business businesses which serve as a conduit for siphoning significant sums from public works contracts for himself and former president Ulusegu Obasanjo. Amid the allegation of the first the spokesperson for the PDP presidential council, Chai Dino Malaya said Michael Achimugu was never an heir to Atiku and fingered the all progressive congress a flag bearer Bola Tinumbu for sponsoring the allegation. Now, where this man is not talk the first one, talk second one, talk third. Now he's about to enter the fourth one. I don't see the fancy minister again come out. I thought he made that. Hey, look at me, all this that uh, scammer. Hey, looking for who to blackmail. And a cheap scam. You don't see any money. Just my man. Hey, hey, hey. You just make that video and you laugh over it. Now the boy don't release the first one. Oh, you talk. Second one, you don't talk again. Third one, you don't talk. The boy is going to release the fourth one again. And from fourth, he's going to release the fifth. Where are you? Uh, do you know Malaya? You cannot talk anything again because first, the the boy hold a uh, PDP for what Oyibo man called the sukrutum. Chai, Udumeje, my brother, you know how to pronounce this. He say Oji and a sukrutum. That is where Michael Atimugu hold you people. And I want you people also to hold uh, APC people that you are accusing. Make sure go hold them also for their boss or oh, sukrutum as well. You get it? However. Michael Atimugo in an interview with the TVC, but this on a TVC news, self, I don't even trust them. Make you go for Arise News, make uh, uh, Rufai ask you, interview you, go to China and make Shenwu. These people, why they call you? Make Rufai or Abati or Ayo uh -huh. and Shenwu of uh, Channel TV, make them interview you. TVC in Atunumbu station. Now, this one make people, they talk saying Atunumbu, they sponsor you. Why you don't see any TV station to go? Natunumbu. Even to the no even trust his own TV station. Where he, he can never grant a live interview where other presidential candidates will attend to that his own TV station. And you are going there. You yeah, come. You better like, say this this uh, your case, sir. Uh, go go reason and more. Go reason and well well. Anyway, child, let us continue. We say with an interview mm, on TVC. This uh, last one is they were explaining he was motivated to speak up about the corruption of Atiku to educate Nigerians. And this way, them from voting for him who, as president during the coming elections. Wedding fallout between you and your former boss, we don't know. But our main concern is that uh, we will not vote. <laughs> Simple as that, now. Nah. What do you want to make I talk? I will make I make I just the mama, 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 mama. I beg. I don't feel that one. Ah, go vote who? Vote Atiku. Atiku, we no, we make us no get electric, electric today. A sole distributor of a past my another, uh, uh, past my my neighbor generator. Go they come out now, they promise us they won't give us light, they won't give us heaven and earth. 
Mon. Let us continue our beg joke. According to him, if Atuku is allowed to assume the position of president, the entire country will be shattered. Hence, he decided to speak and prevent it from happening. Let us the hear more. Decision makers say, on our way they out there say, eh, eh, mo, eh, na tiku, mbi in turn, abi, ibu turn off, eh, tunumbu, wan, abi say, tunumbu, they don't entice tunumbu, haji out to Mohammed, they don't come out say, na, na shitima wan rulu, on a don't hear that one, abi, Michael Atuku don't come out, come reveal the plans where this man and his 31 biological children, we're not talking about those ones that are not known, but he know them, but we don't know them. Yes, God. Atiku know his children. But Nigeria don't know his children. So he has 31 biological children who want to become multi billionaires in dollars, not in naira. To enable them to live the kind of lifestyle they want to live abroad, like a five star lifestyle abroad, with five men, ten drivers, and uh, five, uh, no, seven nannies. Then cook. That one is uncountable. Then you can't count people where they cut grass. We're going to keep compound clean. Cleaners and the rest of them. People were there for laundry room. You go have like domestic staff about 150, according to the boy. You want to live a five star life. And these people want, the, are pushing their father to be president so that they can live this lifestyle. And you are there shouting, articulated, articulated. You will be saying, even if you go to office tomorrow, he can never remember you. He do not even know you are existing. And you are shouting, articulated. He go, first of all, settle. The, 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 the families while well, we say the wife want to become a multi trillionaire not billionaire then the sons and daughters of 31 all of them everybody want to become multi billionaire in dollars I beg make her ask oh, how many go remain for the 216 million Nigerians out there nothing for you people that is why that is when you begin to cry but my president I keep me oh, you know do this one oh, you don't do that one oh. do this is the time for you to take the drastic measure of voting the right person and don't vote anyone that have more than five children. <laughs> I know why they talk. Oh, go to your national assembly. There's one man that said he married uh, six wives and he had 28 children. And they asked him why he came late at the national assembly. He said because he attended to the matters uh, concerning his six wives. He, he just newly married. And married another one, making it seven. And he had 20, 28 children already at the 30. So tell me how that particular person want to perform for that office. Where he, where he enter? Yes, any allocation that comes to his constituency, he don't divert them. His family alone have made up the constituency. So that is the problem we're having in Nigeria. We are giving offices to people who have more than even some have uh, ten wives. Recognize though, they not don't talk about side chicks and other uh, etc. Et where they do some kind of uh, that is KJ Bwanti. Uh, Pia Pempo and other things. You understand now? Nah? <laughs> you get the point now. Nah? <laughs> okay, now, nah, so let us continue. He said, and I quote, if Nigerians think that uh, they have seen corruption before, let them wait until they make the mistake of voting Atiku family into the office. Ew, mwam. This is your argument here. Eh? In short, I concur. After a couple of years, I began to see so many other things within the family. There is this huge uh, dysfunction that doesn't speak well of the family. It lies behind the fact that people cannot really see. But I am a Nigerian. I have children and so do millions of other Nigerians. And I understand that if this is allowed to fist up, if this is promoted to Asarok, then the entire Nigeria hmm, will be shattered. So I decided to come out to and try to prevent this from happening according to Michael Achimugu. Achimugu. <laughs> so we are taking the last, not the least. The PDP now. It don't knock a pit uh um abado. Knock up pa knock up pa knock up pa. They don't knock them left, right, and center. Even now uh, in here now, you know, you know we feel carry them up and down because PDP don't finish them. They they turn and say 2023. They, they uh tell uh um our our guy abado. Don't blackmail and uh, don't exonerate yourself. PDP to Turumbu. <laughs> we don't know which blackmail they are talking about, but let's see what happens. The presidential candidate of All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Mary Tunumbu, has been accused of trying to blackmail President Mahmoud Buhari with his comment about alleged efforts to sabotage his victory, of course. Yes, now, nah. <laughs> no be your master. Now, nah, your master, 
and your principal. So if it's about you, I will serve you. Nigerian News reported on Wednesday that Tulumbu said he was confident about winning the 2023 general elections against all odds by force. I had her by crook, yeah, or by you know, or by or by sequence. You get it? Yeah. The former governor state, a big former Lagos state governor, who hinted that uh, some people may be trying to sabotage the forthcoming polls, insisted that despite uh, the virus plus, he will emerge victorious at the polls because you don't you trust your money, Abi. No, Allah, nah. You go see, say the eye where they cry, they, they see something. Yeah. He said, let us be expensive. Only they knew where they kept it. <laughs> keep, keep patrol. Keep the Nara. We will vote and be elected. You may change the lay, the ink of Nara notes. What you expect will not happen. So you know, say all this is not just to make sure that all those billions, a bit trillions, where you don't pack for your heart, where you want to buy, buy vote, they don't make them useless. You don't come out now to the cry, Abi. Ew. He don't hit you now. Now you don't they cry. Say if they lie, let them make fuel high because it don't, it don't, it don't really affect you. They don't tell you say this is nana because of you. Make you know say the product way he said to them eight years ago. You don't watch it. <laughs> yeah, the product hotel home. Yeah, the hotel. So that you know what the poor mass is passing out out there. No be NNPC. I be a, 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 a minister of petroleum. Tell me press leave. I come out the other day. They they nyang pat nyang pata for your mouth. You talk nonsense. Say if uh, people are buying, if people are can uh, that even him, he can buy fuel of three hundred naira. There is nothing. He's uh, uh, talk, forgetting that there's people who their business based on using this petrol because there's no light to power their business. Somebody who is doing a haircut, barber salon that is collecting hundred naira, two hundred naira, he will go and buy a liter of fuel for three hundred naira. Tell me how much will he charge per head or per hair to cut the hair and to make profit and also. For the one that he used to fuel and feed his family, and you're out there, they the nyan nonsense. No be on a fault now. No be on a, no 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 be them select you people to be there because they cannot say you are elected. Not selected. They say they said petrol will rise to 200 200 naira a liter and 500 naira a liter. Now to people they talk this one, oh, let your mind be at rest according to him. Oh. They don't want this forthcoming election to hold you. They want to scatter it, but that won't be possible. <laughs> Mom, they thought uh, they could cause trouble. They sabotage fuel, but with or without fuel, which or without motorcycles and tricycles, we will vote and win. Who? How many people have you empowered? This is a superior revolution, according to Ogaturumbu. Reacting to the development, you at Tiku and Okoa campaign organization has told Turumbu not to blackmail President Mahmoud Buhari because. Now you say him to us. So why are you crying like a baby now? Oh yeah, Buru. Who collected your biscuit? Eh, Bubu. -bu. Eh, um, Tutrumbu. Abi, Aba, Aba, Dodo. <laughs> I beg you. Let us continue, John. Nigerian News gathered that the PDP in a statement on Wednesday by the council uh, spokesperson, Kola Olabo Diniane, Abi Olabo Diniane, noted that the APC flag bearer. Uh, was as well blaming his own party and the federal government over his looming devastating rejection by Nigerians. Ew, 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 ew. This one, eh, this one, this one, eh, it, sh it shocked me. Eh, this one, it shook me well, well. Olabo Didian submitted that uh, Tulumbu's claim that the transaction of the new Nara note by the Buhari led at the APC administration and the fuel crisis was plotted to scuffle his electoral chances. We are ways to exonerate himself. Oh, hey, man. Hey. He accused uh, Tulumbu of trying to hoodwink Nigerians by seeking to exonerate himself to blame others, noting that uh, he speaks volumes of Tulumbu's character to pretend to care for the pain uh, citizens are passing through because it is beginning to affect his ambition. Yes, you made it uh, openly. So you go to Ogun, instead of you to speak in English so that people will hear, you result in speaking Yoruba. Uh, so that ordinary Nigerians now we, we cannot speak you, you, uh, understand Yoruba will not hear. But now for that same uh, Yoruba ground, you went uh, either elders meeting or uh, council meetings, and you are there boldly telling us that uh, without you, Buhari can never be present. That means you are the one that forced Buhari on us. So why are you crying like a, a child that just collected biscuit from? The PDP spokesperson alleged that the Central Bank of Nigeria's CBN monetary policy to redesign the Naira 
can only affect people who win elections by relying on bullion vans. Tunumbu, according to the PDP, ought to know that Nigerians can see through his antics and uh, divisional theatrics uh, 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 on the fuel and new Naira notes issues. The main opposition wondered why the APC Black Biara would try would try to himself form a government he had been part of since 2015. Of course, you cannot isolate yourself from that. In the reality, he is known to be behind the intensive and anti people uh, policies that have brought so much calamity to our country, including the current president, President West Cassidy. Turumbu's lamenting over the resigning of the Naira just because the policy had frustrated his uh, boastful plot to use a slush fund, which he reportedly stashed away in secret vaults for vote buying and manipulative securing. From the songs of the lamentation of uh, Asuaji Bolabe Tunumbu, it is clear that his presidential life ambition has collapsed, the PDP added, and the same way the presidential uh, uh, lives, the presidential ambition of the PDP have also collapsed. The same thing with the APC. So, the, what I'm, I'm telling you people is that uh, this 2023, no room for APC and no room for PDP. PDAPC or APDP, we don't want honor. Enough is enough. The, to the youth, go out there, get your PVC and vote wisely because if you make another mistake, coming this uh, 2023, my dear, on I go here and win. You get it? On I go here, something. So that is where we are calling our Kaya to go now. If you never subscribed to my channel, do that anytime soon. Make sure you turn on the discussion button. So that you will be notified who each time we go live or I post something new on this channel. So my good people, I run the back of my kaya. It is bye bye for now. Have a nice day. Bless you all, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bye.